markers on the doors and windows. It's, it seems like Dad doesn't recognize me.
They can't be the same person. Same. Jennifer? Jennifer? Richard Dean Felton. Split personality? Unhealthy upbringing by deceased father. I was a disappointment to him. A wimp. Overdose of hormones and testosterone. I once or twice refused to go through exams. This is why he wouldn't go further through exams. They would have understood. Now I understand why he was obsessed with his growing daughter, and why he started calling her Jennifer. She was everything his father never wanted him to be. Jennifer.
that that nun, she scares me. She controls the moths. Here, I'm here. Please help me. 
Wait, what on earth is going on? Be careful! They're armed! Who are you talking about? Him and his damn psychopath! Uh, okay, I'm calling the police. Yes, do it now! Hey, wait, are you still here? I am. Stay calm. Please, don't leave me! Listen to me. Go to the infirmary on the first floor. I'm the only one who holds the key. We'll wait for the police to gather there. Okay. 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 So what happened? Oh, Gloria, please, close the door! What's going on? Close this damn door! Oh, God, oh calm no. down. Tell me what happened. Oh, oh, my God. Please, I'm here now. Can you hear me? I can't believe that. Oh, my. Your heart is going to no. explode. No. Calm down, please. You have to take something. Where is the... Oh. I don't have any idea what happened, but now you're making me anxious. Mr. Felton killed his wife, ripped her apart, but he still believes he killed his daughter. God, I can't, I, I can't, I can't believe it. They always slept in separate rooms. Their marriage was a disaster, disgusting. Even though Ariana knew about Richard's past, or Jennifer, but this... You also knew? Of course I knew, but I would have never imagined that... And you didn't do anything? You indulged it. You kept on supporting his barbaric experiences. The mesmerism, the phenoxyl, everything else. I know that his disease, his personal matters, or the disappearance of his daughter made him a killer. I knew the cure wasn't going anywhere. It was more of a necessity. An, an addiction. Necessity. An addiction? It doesn't make much difference how we call it. We don't choose our cure or our vice. They are the ones that rule. Don't you smoke? Are we seriously talking about this? No. I'm just saying that I knew about his bad habits. As his nurse, I knew how unorthodox and how inefficient they were. But that doesn't make me his accomplice. We have to go. They'll be here any minute now. Is there anyone with Mr. Felton? Some kind of... Weird red nun. One from the painting? Here, in the house? We have to stay here. Leaving now is out of the question. There are bars and the windows and doors. We're blocked. Here, drink this. What is this? It's just to slow your heartbeat down. Did you also know that Celeste came back and left again? I didn't want to believe it. He kept on saying it. He saw his Jennifer and everything. And I would even be Jennifer to him at times. Richard suffered from his father's anger. A crazy, lunatic psychopath. Split personality. Forced to live as a man against her will. All her life. It's not surprising this happened. The police are on their way? Of course. I called them a little while ago. <sighs> Gloria, how did you get in? The doors and windows have bars. We're trapped inside. Until now, I've had your keys. Your keys? You left them there on purpose until I found them. I know who you really are. <gasps> Trap me? I missed you a lot, sister. A child's dream in rent phase with open wings of 
moth is ablaze, and when his mother screamed that much, a black red death bestowed his touch. <laughs> Or I'll cut your tongue off. This 
you were hiding in your pretty purse. You wanted to drug me, make me blind, right? Just like the old times. I loved you. I trusted you. You were one of us. But you don't deserve to be. I survived not once, but two times. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You're not my sister anymore. <laughs> Listen, who doesn't live can't remember. What kind of life is it to suffer that way? You deserve peace. No, no, no. Mr. Felton, please don't listen to her! She is Jennifer. She is your daughter. She represents everything you couldn't have. It was taken from you. And now, she's in front of you. This is how you killed your wife, Mr. Felton! Listen to me. Don't listen you to her! the other times, but you I'm can't rosemary. now. She can't we escape. This afternoon. You know how to do end. Do you remember? You know what you I, have to do. I gave you that picture. The picture when you were a little girl. Remember? I told you I could have helped you. Help you find a cure. Oh, no. Oh, Mr. Felton. Everything. No! Please. I beg you. Stop. No! 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 